Hello. Today, we will discuss the topics upon 1. Perspective and issues in machine learning. 2. Concept learning and finding a maximally specific hypothesis in version space. 3. Find S algorithm. Coming to perspective and issues in ML. The main perspectives in ML are 1. One useful perspective on ML is that it involves searching a very large space of possible hypotheses to determine one that best fits the observed data and any prior knowledge held by the learner. Consider hypotheses. In hypotheses there are many algorithms. But we have to choose the best algorithm for relevant answer. For example, consider the space consisting of all evaluation functions that are represented by some choice of values for the weights W0 through W6. The learner's task is thus to search through this vast space to locate the hypothesis that is most consistent with the available training experiment. Issues in ML A. What algorithm to be used for existing things? B. What method to follow to learn the training examples? C. How many training examples and how many test sets we need to take? D. To reduce overhead of learning which method we use? E. According to data, which method is a suggestible table? This is one of the main perspectives in machine learning. Next coming to the topic of concept learning. Example for concept learning is, consider a square as a universe, where it contains smartphones, tablets, and phones. For those, features are, size, which are small and large, colors of gray and black, screen type, is flat and folded, shape is square and rectangle. Here, size is considered as x1, color is considered as x2, Screen type is considered as X3. Shape is considered as X4. Each feature is represented as unique. Here, C equals X1, X2, X3, X4 and tablet has the features of large, black, flat. Square and smartphone has the features of small, gray, folded, rectangle. For two possible instances. Here comes, 2 power D equals possible instances. D equals 4. Then, 2 power 4 equals 16 then, 2 power 16. Next coming, to another topic of finding a maximally specific hypothesis, a hypothesis, H, is a most specific hypothesis if it covers none of the negative examples and there is no other hypothesis. H not that covers no negative examples, such that H is strictly more general than H not. Begin with the most specific possible hypothesis in H, generalize this hypothesis each time it fails to cover an observed positive training example, Let's consider with an example. The find S algorithm ignores negative examples. If the hypothesis space H contains a hypothesis which describes the true target concept C and the training data contains no errors, then the current hypothesis H can never require a revision in response to a negative example. Now, let's discuss conjunctive concepts, it is represented by the combination of two attributes or more attributes. Here, let's see some if the people have chosen tablet with the features of large, black, flat, and square. Some of the people have chosen tablet equals large and square. And some of the people haven't even chosen the features while selecting the tablet. Then, features are. And some of the people who don't like the features of tablets, rejects the tablet. Then, features are. And people who don't like phones. Then, the feature is. Xi, theta i. So, xi equals x1, x2, so on xn. Theta i equals plus, and minus. Let's consider a training sample, xi, c of, xi. Here consider an example, realme and apple. Realme does have space. So, it is, realme, 1, but apple don't have space. So, apple, 0. So, these are considered as positive and negative examples. So our goal in concept learning is finding all those concepts that are the hypothesis of which are consistent with the space that is C of X. Then that H of X equals to C of X. Next is version space. In version space let us consider an example of a hypothesis. In the year 1990. Which consists of X1, X2, X3 and so on. Where X1 is an Android phone. X2 is a bezel-less phone and X3 is a foldable phone. Next in the year 2020. Consider a version space which consists of X1, X2, X3. From 1990 to 2020 we have migration. Such new space is a version space. In that period of time all these things were in the hypothesis space but in recent years we have new versions and variants in the version space. 
Our next topic is Find S algorithm. In this Find S algorithm, S stands for specific. And the main drawback of the Find S algorithm is it will take only positive examples but not negative examples. Algorithm. Let us consider S1, which is initializing with the most specific hypothesis. S2, for each positive sample, if attribute value is equal to hypothesis value it needs to be ignored. If it is the same we have to ignore else you have to replace it with the most general hypothesis. Here, is an example. Next let's initialize with the most specific hypothesis. H0 equals, H1 equals JP, HD, B, 1980, ECO, H2 equals H1. Note, if it is negative we have to ignore, H3 equals JP, Blue, Eco, H4 equals H3, H5 equals JP, Eco, H6 equals JP, Eco. This may not be the sole hypothesis that fits the data sets. Well, that's the end of today's topic. Along with the video explanations, we offer notes, mind maps, infographs and more to all the subjects from your syllabus, and also career guidance programs from current working IT professionals and many more to our supporters. To join our supporters community, use the subscription link given below. For more topics from your syllabus, please visit our website given in the description. If you like the explanation, press the like button and rate us from 1 to 5 in the comments section below. For getting updates on any video we posted, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We will be back with another concept soon.